Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode 27, I believe. Um, this is actually a different slime than was here before, as far as I can tell. Uh, they just like to spawn in this area, I guess. Not usually more than one, though, unless they're small. Which probably means they spawned and died. Anyway, so I, uh, I made some changes around here. So, looks much nicer in my opinion. I don't know about you guys. Um, but, uh... So, down here we've got the collection area for the spiders with some lava just in case I don't want whatever they're dropping. Like, if I just want string, I can just come down and grab the string, throw the uh, spider eyes in there. Up here, I moved the lever over here so that you can just... Yeah, there's nothing here to kill. Um, <coughs> so up here is just where I stand. That's it. That's all. Uh -huh. I was going to put that somewhere else, but I guess I'll just leave it there. Um... I put another block there because it was really bothering me. Um, uh, the reason I did that was because I ran out of ladders, so I just left it one short, but I just made some more, so. Yeah, um, so I just stay up here, let things spawn, then I come down here, I can either kill the spiders if I want to with my sword, or just, you know, do that. There's not enough of them in there to actually float up to the top right now, but. Um, and then down here we've got the skeletons. And another lava thing. That's just the rest of the cave that I never go to. I might as well just seal that off. Um, and yeah, I just put this here because it, it works much better for me. Um, oh, I picked up some string from one of the spiders. And once the spiders fall down there, it's almost impossible to actually get them. Because you can't hit them from down here because there's a block drop. And um, you can't hit them from up here until they get up higher, which they don't do. So, if only they would all do that, but as if one were to try to fall down there, it would just bump off that one and float up. So, um, so as it is, I can't kill that spider. I can, still, I can still kill skeletons, though. But yeah, I've got this here, just in case, you know, I pick up some stuff, and I don't want to take it back with me, but I do want it for future whatever, like arrows, maybe. I don't know. I don't, like, I never use string, so... I've just been turning it into wool so I can fit as much as I can into my inventory. Um, let's see, we've got down here, it's just that, that's more. See, and then I just go, oh, don't want bones because I've got tons of them so I can just throw them into the lava. Um, every once in a while slimes spawn in here and I just come in and kill them, but not today. Okay, um, I'll get started on the wheat farm actually, so I'll meet you back up at the surface. Okay guys, that took way longer than I was expecting, and I got a little sidetracked too, so I'll show you what else I did. Um, so this is the wheat farm. I've got a, <coughs> excuse me, a button over here to open the door and close the door. Or not. Oh, right. Wait, what? Okay, apparently I broke it at some point. Um... Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, that's why. Okay, I'll be right back, and uh, I'll fix this, and yeah. Alright, I fixed it. Sorry about that. Um, I had some trouble with the water, and it went down and wiped out some circuitry, and then I tried to fix it, but I missed a part. Um, so that opens it, and uh, you might notice that there's no other button here, like with all the other doors. That's because this lever right here both shuts the door behind you and activates the water. That way you can't leave the water running for whatever reason, um, in case squids would spawn or something like that. Um, so, and besides, it's just annoying to have that sound of water all the time. And that way, when you open, when you close, when you turn the water off, you can come back out and leave. So you can't leave unless the water is off. Um, the circuitry for it, this is just the door part, the button comes in down here, comes underneath, hits this T flip-flop, sends the power back up and around, and it's really crowded in this area, but believe me when I say it goes up to that block right there, and there's a repeater right, right in front of it, pointing to it, and it goes up to those pistons right there, and then it goes up and over to the pistons on the other side, and that's why you've got the little thing coming down here. Um, coming 
from up there. Um, and this is just because it was having trouble, because if I bring the, the current in this way, then this one doesn't go to this torch, so it just doesn't do anything. So these two have to be going straight across. Um, so yeah, and then this thing right here, the power comes from up here. This is behind the lever, so it drops down this way, and this is that repeater I pointed at. Um, it comes down here, and then inverts again here, which feeds back into the piston line, which I actually did on accident when I was over in this area. Um, like, I originally just had it so that this one was a redstone dust, and then the repeater was, like, up here, I think, or down there. I don't know. I think it was back there. No. I have no idea. So, I put the repeater there and brought it around here so I could invert it, because the way it was, the door was only opened when these were closed. So, I mean, when these were open. So, you couldn't get out without... You couldn't turn off the system and then get out... Um, so you'd be trapped unless you turned on, on the water and then left. Um, and I had a button too, but this lever thing just made it so that when you pull the lever, when the lever was down, um, it would you could push the button as many times as you wanted and it wouldn't open the door. But if the lever was, if you did pull the lever and then push the button once to open the door, and then you pull the lever again so that it would open the door, it would, I don't know, it was so confusing with two bu with a button and a lever that I just took out the button. Um, so yeah, this just inverts it so that they these are opposite, so that when this is open, the door is closed. Um, and then it just comes around here and feeds into the pistons that hold up the water, or hold back the water, I should say. Okay. So, uh, yep, that's that. And now hopefully I'll be sealing this up for good because I don't want to have to deal with that anymore. Um, that's a huge mess down there, just because I was trying to work it around and wire it up, and, like, that one that one that I did over... This one was so simple. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I had that space um, over here to work in, so I just brought it this way, then um, did the wiring down here, and then looped it back around for these two. Whereas, in this one and the front door, which I'll show you in a minute because I did some changes to it, um, I don't have a place where I can pull it this way or this way. So I have to go like down and beneath and then over because I can't have both the power lines for each set of pistons and the T flip flop going down. So um, what I've done here and actually I might have done it over there is I um, took the the T flip flop and put it underneath and then just brought the power for the pistons back up and around so it got that one and that one um, as it went. And, oh, I suppose I could lock myself in here, actually, which is kind of bad, but I don't know how I'd fix that right now. So I suppose I could put the lever there, but that's just painful to click on. But yeah, so I'll just have to remember not to lock myself out. But yeah, so that works fine, and uh, that's what I wanted. And I can extend it as much as I want. Okay, so this is a bit of a change. <laughs> um... I'm still thinking about it. I may extrude this part because I liked it when it was sticking out a little bit. Um, I don't think I can do that now. Um, I don't have enough stuff, and it would take me a minute. Uh, hold on. I'll pause the recording, and then I'll do it, and then I'll come back. And there we go. Yeah, I think that's better. Um, I may even extrude that up there. Just get some pistons in there to push all the glass blocks, if possible. I don't know how I do that, but... Um, and I bring out the stone on the edge as well, just because, uh, yeah. Because I think that'd be cool, you know, have it out, then in, then out, up, way at the top. Almost like a creeper. Oh, I, I feel like these doors look like mouths just because it's like eye, eye, and mouth. So it's like, I'm going to eat you. Because that's what mouths sound like. Um. Anyway, this doesn't leave me with much room for a... I suppose I could bring it out one more but that just seems excessive. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I got that idea because I did it to this one. Um, I was going to bring this one out another block, but then I realized that this button was up against the wall, and I didn't like that. I like to have a, a 
three by three space for my buttons, just because that way, you know, it's it's it, it looks like it's in the middle as opposed to not. Okay, um, I want to see what this would look like. Interesting, but I don't think I'm going to. Like, I like how it looks from down here, but from up here, it's just like, what are you doing? <laughs> Unless I were to just replace this all with stone and have it come all the way out here. Um, and just, like, fill up this whole area up here, too. Okay, well, I gotta go. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.